Creative Chaos. I just thought I'd do a um, kind of a catch-up video. I have not been on YouTube for a while. Um, many things that have kept me off, uh, nothing major, but we'll get into that later. But I just thought I'd pop in and uh, let you know what's been going on, uh, what I'm doing with myself, what my plans are for the coming few months, and um, let you know that I was still here. So, um, first of all, I do apologize. Disclaimer coming, I didn't get all dolled up to do this because if I was to do that, I probably wouldn't do it. Um, today's one of those days when I'm just grunging around the house um, playing with my art. And I thought, um, what the heck, I'm going on like this. I hope I don't scare anybody. Uh, but anyway, if I do, avert your eyes and just listen to my voice. Um, okay, so what's been going on? Um, I have had this cold. I picked up a cold just the week before Christmas. And it actually doesn't sound bad because it's not really in my head. It's down in my chest. But I've had it since uh, probably about the 19th of December. Uh, we're now going into almost six weeks with it. And I'm not sure if it really it's a cold or the flu. But it's lodged in my chest and I just haven't been able to get rid of it. So that's kind of... I mean, I feel good other than I'm tired and, you know, not all that energetic. Um, but by and large, uh, today I'm feeling a lot better and the cold doesn't seem to be so lodged, lodged so deeply in my chest. So that's a good thing. Uh, also, Christmas is such a busy time. I, I don't tend to get a lot done creatively. Um, as well, uh, I used to sell my cards uh, in one of the couple, actually two of the local gift stores. Uh, I did that for almost 20 years and then I decided I wanted to go a different direction. I still love making cards. I just didn't want to continue to do them on a retail platform. Um, as anybody who knows, anybody who sells their art knows you're never compensated appropriately for the love and the work that you put into the art base that you sell. Uh, mine were only greeting cards. I was very happy to sell them. I didn't, you know, I wasn't expecting to get rich. Um, but the downfall for that is, I found, is that once you get a customer base, which I did have, um, you kind of lose your creative freedom because you have to sell what the market wants. And if the market already likes your product that you're giving them, they're often not willing to buy something new. So long story short, I decided about two years ago that I would stop selling my, my crafts. And, um, but then I decided well, I still wanted to do it. So what I did was I, now what I do now is I um, create greeting cards and I donate them to one of the local hospital gift shops and um, whatever profit they make for them is theirs and they're most appreciative and very successful with my cards so it's a win-win situation for us uh, they get to make some money I get to do what I like and everybody's happy so I was busy doing that towards right up to you know but the beginning of December because of course I wanted to get product to them in the store uh, I also like making gift tags so I made a whole slew of gift tags for them to do as a giveaway with product and I think that was pretty successful for them um, what else have I done? Oh yes, so in January, um, let me backtrack. I was also playing in a mail art swap for Christmas. Um, I finally got that finished up just after the new year, got that sent out. Um, and I, I, I mean, I admit, I <laughs> one of my biggest faults, I guess, is that I really overthink things when it comes to my art and I probably put way too much effort into something that and worry about things that nobody else is going to notice so anyway I put a lot of effort into my work so it didn't go, go out on time but it went out and everybody was happy with it so I guess that's all that's important so then I, I set two new challenges for myself for for January I um I played in the uh, use it up fill it up to challenge that was set up by um, I'm trying to think what her name is in that awful I can't even remember her name um, the lady over on Southern Gals Designs 
and her the premise of the challenge was that you do 15 minutes in your art journal every single day of the month. Uh, I tried that and it, I, I wasn't able to get 31 pages done. Uh, first off, I, I guess maybe I work slower, I don't know. And also, I couldn't get something that I liked completed in 15 minutes. Oftentimes it was much more than that. But it still worked out for me because I ended up at the end of the day, I think I got 12 pages done for January, which was way more than I would have gotten if I hadn't played in it. And it also forced me to um, get in here and work on something instead of spending my time dancing around on, <laughs> dancing between sites on YouTube. So that was a good thing. The other thing that I set up for myself was a um, 365 tag a day challenge. And the premise of that is, it's a self challenge, is that I will make, I will make 365, 365 tags for 2019. Now I do not do them daily. What I normally do is I do them in blocks because I just find that works better for me. So I might do six today and seven tomorrow and then not do anything for a week. Um, but sorry, my nose is itchy all of a sudden. Um, I'm really enjoying that. I don't know what it is about tags, but I like the fact that I guess part of it is that I like the fact that that they're big enough. I use the I make the bigger tags that they're big enough that you can do something on them, but they're not so big that they take forever to do. And so what I usually do is I get six or seven of them out and I start slapping paint on them and sticking, you know, and collage. And after I get a bunch of them done, I do a few more and then I come back to them another day and do another element on them. And before you know it, I've got a whole bunch of them done. So that's the plan, and so far that's going very well, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, what else am I doing? I'm working on more cards for this for the gift shop, although they probably won't be ready to go until April or May, just because of my time schedule. Um, I also play in a card swap, an ongoing card swap. It's you sign up for six months every time. Um, it's a Canadian uh, stamp. Canadian stamp. Isn't that awful? CST. <laughs> I can't even remember what it stands for. Um, anyway, it's uh, CST and it's um, the CCE swap, which is a Canadian card exchange swap. You do two cards a month to everybody on the list uh, for those six months the six people in the list after you and that's a lot of fun I enjoy that and again it forces me to use my supplies and be creative and whatever so that's good uh, let me see what else is going on I have been working my journals as I said and I will do a flip I'm going to be doing a flip video for uh, the use it up fill it up challenge for what I got accomplished. I'll be doing another video of my tags. I'll probably do them for two week blocks at a time and there'll be a short video. Um, I'm, I will also do another video of one of my other journals that I'm working on. Mm, yeah, I'll try. Problem is I'm really not, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I have several journals on the go at any time. But a couple of them are just so bad I would be embarrassed to show them to anybody. Um, but that's kind of the plan. Those three videos in the next three or four days I will be posting those. So please come back and see me, see my channel for that. As well, I'm um, working at being more diligent and up, up dating my blog, which is Inked Impressions at blogspot.com. Um, I'm not nearly as diligent as that as I should be, so I am working at that. I am starting to post a little more on Facebook, although not so much of an art thing. Um, and I have gotten quite active on Instagram. I've had Instagram for a couple of years and never really used it because it didn't know how. Duh! Um, it's really not that hard. Um, so I usually try to post every day or every second day. Um, so all of my recent journal pages and some tags and whatnot are over there. Uh, my Instagram account is at Sandra Prue, S-A-N-D-R-A-P-R-O-U-L-X 1500. So I'd love it if you go over and check it out and um, 
you know, see what you think. Leave me a comment, a like, whatever. Um, I think that's about it.